What's some juicy gossip you just found out in your personal lives? 1. Cousin's wife finally caught his cheating ass. 3 years he's been playing her for a fool. But she actually knew. She just loves him too much. 2. Heard that the asshole who got me fired got fired because of the email that I sent to the company's VP. Honestly wish I went with filing for a labor case though. Close bracket. 3. Apparently. I'm adopted. Not really sure if the ancestry thing works. I want to find my biological parents. So much stuff is happening. My sister is pregnant with her third child. Third guy. The first father. V. Is awesome he has custody of both their child and her second. No biological relationship to him. The second baby daddy has apparently been threatening my sister and V after learning of the third child and that V took her in. V and my sister still have a functional platonic relationship at this point. And due to fear of reproach from the second, and maybe the third, V has taken both kids. My pregnant sister. And his own so with him out of state to make sure there's no reproach from two or three. V is one of my favorite humans. He treats the second child like his own. Despite no longer being in a romantic relationship with my sister, since 2010. Dude is as good as they come. In my opinion. My friend just dropped out of university to become an escort. He's happier. That my brother asked my mom for a $1000 for rent. She gave him $1400 so he could also pay back a loan. Then he turned around and also asked my dad for $1000 for rent which he also gave him. He then turned around and used the money to buy tickets to Burning Man. My parents aren't going to lend out any more money without talking to each other first. I just found out my neighbor has been having an affair with another one of my neighbors and the kids figured it out. My ex after one week of being single started dating this SoundCloud rapper. Now she's pregnant with twins. Do his song slap though. Our pastor was having an affair with his cousin's wife. One day while giving a sermon the cousin storms into church. Tackles the pastor and starts to throw haymakers at him. The cousin's wife is trying to pull her husband off the pastor. The pastor's wife quickly figured out what was happening. Ran up and clocked the wife from behind knocking her out. People are trying to separate everyone. Total chaos. Just found out the other week through the grapevine that two of my exes are now together. My friends were coming to me like hey didn't you used to date both of them? How did that happen? One of them is very mild mannered and relaxed and we ended it amicably because we were getting bored. The other one is hot headed. Impulsive. And motivated. That one ended because we both had trouble communicating our grievances in a healthy manner. Given my experience with both of them. I have no idea how they're gonna make it work. But I wish them both luck. Wonder if they bonded over a mutual dislike of you. My work requires everyone in our group have security clearance. It's boring work and the most basic of clearances. Wednesday a co-worker's desk was completely cleaned out. We were told she lost her clearance and was fired. Weird. Her BFF spilled the beans later. Turns out Sharon had met a man online and they were madly in love. And she cashed out her 401k. Her life savings and a second mortgage to send to him. She's 67. To no one's surprise he is not a real person and it was all a scam. He claimed he was royalty from Nigeria. Work found out when she started borrowing money from co-workers and it made its way to our boss. It's very sad but still. WTF she was around when the whole Nigerian email scam was around. She should have known better. Eater. My dad is having an affair. Just found out 30 minutes ago. Mom is devastated although I had my suspicions. They've been married for 46 years. Dad is 73. A girl I worked with accused me of getting extremely drunk while babysitting her child and told the entire building of people I work with. For starters. I don't drink. She compulsively lies and everyone knows her for that. But I still can't believe it. Oh. 
And she paid me $10 for watching said kid and then stole it back and blamed it on one of my house guests. Wild. That my uncle left my auntie for the phone SX line worker he was calling for the last 3 years. When an ex and I broke up a little over 4 years ago. It was bad. We were both getting clean and on methadone. The things that were said. November of 17. X asked a mutual friend if he and his girlfriend could come stay with me since they were homeless. I'm an idiot. I can't say no. I was homeless for 10 or so years. So I know how bad it can be. When I kicked them out. They had stolen so much from me. I didn't have a lot to begin with. The bitch even stole a bunch of my underwear. I literally just found out about an hour ago that she is in jail for possession. Got caught with 40 ounces of liquid hurrian. Karma baby. Karma. But it's thank you for my first platinum stranger. My cousin has been together with his wife for 14 years and has had a girlfriend for just as long. Neither of them knew about the other. He got caught because of an image on Facebook. His wife's sister posted a family picture which my cousin was in and got recognized by his girlfriend's sister's acquaintance. He got away with that for 14 years. I have a co-worker I'll call Jess. Who always talks about her kids in detail and asks for favors because of her kids. I.e. picking up shifts. Asking for rights. Etc. One of our other co-workers son goes to the same bar as said girl. She doesn't know who he is. And one night was spilling her gut about how she always takes advantage of her co-workers and that she doesn't even have kids. She doesn't know that we know. Edit. Thank you so much for all the comments. Golden suggestions. I will definitely update everyone if anything interesting develops. One of my workmates found another guy we work with on Tinder, but he's married with a 3 year old at home. And his bio and photos said nothing about any of that. My ex-wife and I finalized our divorce last June. She's giving birth in a few weeks with a guy she was cheating on me with. If it was anyone else I wouldn't care as much. But since it's this guy. It hurts. Oh and she email invited me to buy them gifts off of their baby registry. So I'm trying to think of the most petty item I could get. Though I know I shouldn't show I give a shit. Buy them a paternity test. It will get in new guy's head. My gran has a brother who I've never heard of nor met. Who lives in London. They lost all contact over 30 years ago after my granddad died. And he spent the money my gran sent him for transport up to Scotland for the funeral on drugs. My mum told me this over Facebook last week. My two friends just found out they have the same sugar daddy. They had both been under the impression that they were exclusive with him. Man. To be rich enough to sugar daddy for two girls at once. Truly the American dream. Not recently but the biggest is that my aunt got arrested a while back for embezzlement. She didn't do any jail time I don't think just has to pay it back. This isn't much of a surprise though because after the roof of the blockbuster she managed collapsed she stole all the candy lol. My hairdresser is leaving her husband and five kids to marry an Italian basketball player. Manager is having threesomes with two servers. Sometimes I SSH into two servers at once. I was told that my great grandfather kept the family farm in business by blatant and repeated acts of insurance fraud. Well my dog acts like she doesn't like our new cat but I caught them playing last night and as soon as she noticed me she runs over to me pretending she wasn't playing. Scandal. I have no life. This was the peak of my weekend. Edit. Thanks for the silver. My first silver. Who this weekend has now hit a new peak. Dot. Oh my goodness and my first gold. Thanks everyone. This is too much excitement. I think I need a nap. An ex-friend of mine from high school is now in the middle of the second divorce. Apparently it's because she cheated on her second husband with her now current boyfriend. This is the second time she's cheated on her husband and I'm curious if she'll marry the current boyfriend and then cheat on him. My co-worker makes $10 an hour works part time and pays for her live-in. Still married. Boyfriend's rent and child support cause he's broke. 
She just found his bank receipt showing $17k in his checking account. Just found out that my brother, who divorced his ex-wife a year ago, got married to a new woman in secret. I mean secret as in that he hasn't told his own kids about it, 10 and 12 years old. He hasn't told us either, rest of the family. My mother just accidentally said it to all of us. So now we know but are to pretend we don't know. None of us have met his new wife that we don't know is his wife but still know is his wife. Semicolon. Commenting from my other account. A couple that we have been friends with for a few years now. Both very normal people with vanilla jobs. Took a trip overseas that was supposed to last a week. Not unusual for any of our group of friends. No one had heard from them for close to a month until we found out they've been arrested on the other side of the fking earth trying to smuggle out close to 1 fking million dollars for an international drug cartel out of the country they were visiting. When we heard the news we were just sitting there quietly in disbelief for about 5 minutes. My buddy got so drunk at a party. He whipped his dick out in the living room. This is juicy because he's in his mid 30s. Has 2 kids and a great job. His wife told him he did it the next day, cause he sure as shit he didn't remember. And nearly everyone present was a co-worker of ours. Some time ago some girl jokingly said she wants her BF to get her pregnant or else he will leave her. Best advice for these girls. SX won't make him yours. And a baby won't make him stay. I just found out that one of my work colleagues who just returned from an 2 week expensive holiday with his wife in Iceland has just found out his wife has run up about you acute 50. 000 debt on numerous credit cards. One of my female friends, who looks like a slightly classier version of Courtney Stodden, confessed to me that she enjoys the thought of too hot. Shirtless men fighting over her. She said she is considering goading her boyfriend into fighting some random dude who keeps slipping into her DMs. Just tell her to watch MMA with the sound off. My friend. Who shall remain unnamed. Has been trying to get with his stepsister's boyfriend. Well not so much trying to get as trying to get in a relationship with. Pause the video he sent me of stepsister's boyfriend bent over told me he already got him. But wait there's more. Boyfriend is a very influential local pastor's son. The same pastor who drives around town with stickers all over his car like God will punish sinners. Only through Christ can you be saved. But wait there's more. Pastor is cheating on his wife. With friend's mother. The head chef at my work has worked there for 34 years and is retiring. His stepdaughter is a server there as well. Yusu's chef will be replacing head chef. Newsu's chef is sneaking into head chef's house at night to f head chef's stepdaughter. Newsu's chef has a live in girlfriend of like 6 years and is daddy to her kid. Friend is getting married next weekend. They've been together a few years and have a 2 year old son. At his bachelor party. We were all poking fun at him on whether or not he was ready. Sht faced or sober he is 100% committed to them. Another friend of mine is close friends with the bride who is apparently questioning everything about their relationship. This is going to end well. Some girl in our year at school posted on Facebook the other day how her boyfriend had supposedly cheated on her. They had a full blown argument in the comments just on Facebook for everyone to see. Yesterday she posted a picture of some keys tagging her boyfriend in it saying just bought our first house together. My neighbor's cousin broke into her house and stole 37 guns. Also I learned my neighbor owned at least 37 guns. My young. Hippie chick. Sweet. Neighbor has an alcoholic BF. Middle of the night I heard her screaming for help and I immediately knocked on their door. Young dude wasn't happy to see me. Silly words exchanged and I managed to get her into my home. Sometimes we need a timeout. Regardless of age. To take a breath or two. Comma a few hours later she went home. Turns out the BF's mum is meth head and broke into a neighbor's home madness ensued. And before her arrest she convinced her son to share her meds. They don't know what he took but it didn't react well with him. What kind of mother does that to her son? 
Now she is awaiting him to bail her out. I was blunt with him and said he needed to focus on himself and his life. Apparently for years my parents have told my teachers I have a learning disability. I didn't know I had learning disability. I don't think I have a learning disability. I asked them why and they said it takes about $1,500 off the cost of my university tuition from some government grant so I guess I have a learning disability. Update. I asked my parents more questions about this and I apparently got tested when I was young and have a legitimate learning disability diagnosis. My parents aren't committing fraud. They knew all along that I was diagnosed and I just recently found out about it. This woman I know is dating a very shady guy. She's nearly 40 and desperate. So she overlooks a lot of the red flags. All her friends think he's an asshole. He claims he disappears every now and then because, get this, he works for WikiLeaks. He is married to someone. He claims that they got married only for visa purposes and they only f kid like a few times. He has citizenship now. But they aren't divorced because of some paperwork stuff. Involving, you guessed it, WikiLeaks. He vacillates between having her attend his family events and declaring that he doesn't believe in marriage and kids. Though. Of course. He's married already. He recently suggested they be in an open relationship. She has always wanted marriage and kids. So it surprised me she got on board this relatively easily. I suspect it's because she wants to hold on to him. One of the girls in our group of friends has never really gotten over her ex that left her 3 years ago. She will often bring him up when drunk and it has really hampered her dating life. He lives thousands of miles away. And today he posted a picture of him sitting with an attractive dude getting coffee. They are holding hands and their legs are touching. We were all sitting around the TV hanging out when she saw the picture. Shell shock is the best description for her face. This girl I once did hard drugs with on a rooftop two years ago kept posting a lot on social media about her life falling apart. She said her boyfriend dumped her because she finally got revenge on her rapist I had no idea what that meant. She posted about drugs for a week then they got back together and she seemed okay. Then she posted a positive pregnancy test and her and her boyfriend were posting a lot about being excited to raise their child together. Then it was silence for a couple weeks. Then it was back to her drinking and drugging and everything about the baby was deleted. She is still together with her boyfriend. But as someone who doesn't talk to her anymore and only sees what's posted online I don't know what to think. Maybe she lost the baby? Or maybe realized it was a result of her ape? No idea. My barber got two different girls pregnant. Neither of whom are his girlfriend. Prices have went up a little bit but the phone calls I overhear are worth it lol. Edit. Wow thanks for the gold and silver kind strangers. A friend of mine took off for a couple days to try and get into the PRN industry from a guy she's met like twice. Edit. Friend is safe and heading back to her house as we speak. Edit 2. My grandpa had a secret Alaskan family no one knew about. Thanks 23 and me. I live by a married man. Him and his family are very close to this lady we'll call Jess. They go on vacations with Jess. But in all photos she is near the husband. Not the wife. There have been rumors that the husband is cheating on his wife with Jess. Just rumors though. Right? Recently Jess moved across the country. We thought that was the end of it. Nope. My dad helps people so they can get mortgages and he just got a call from someone. The husband. They're moving with Jess across the country. Uh. uh edit. A lot of people are questioning if it's polyamorous and I get that it's possible. But I don't know for sure. They could be leaving this conservative neighborhood because that's the situation. That sounds like they aren't cheating but that the husband has two wives. My biological mother's husband of 18 years died in October. She then proceeded to marry a guy she met on the internet just a few weeks prior on Valentine's Day. This guy is on probation for multiple DUIs. Can't drive. And is bringing his 10 year old kid to live with her and her older. College age son. 
biological mother thinks she will not have to be a full-time parent and will only be the kid's backup parent. Oh yeah. And this guy has three kids total from three different women. But she's different and it's real love. My friend has a birthmark on his penis. So. Were you sword fighting? I know a guy who got his friend to marry him so he can get a green card. Except his friend was already in a relationship. Not only did my friend get married. He also inherited a boyfriend-in-law. Now the three of them live in the same house. Are you sure this isn't just a sitcom you watched? A friend found a photo of my younger brother in FetLife sucking a dick. So that's a thing. Haven't told anyone. But yeah. 1. Edit. Changed it to younger so people stop thinking he's underaged. Also he posted the photo himself.